Welcome to all Caribbean entrepreneurs. If you've been ready and waiting to take your business digital and get paid online while you sip something strong on the beach, this podcast is for you. We'll hear from the Caribbean's finest entrepreneurs on topics like e-commerce, business development, brand building, social media, their wins and failures. This is the only place in the region helping you navigate the digital age from the Caribbean's perspective. This is Digipreneur FM. And now, let's give it up for the Digiboss himself, Mr. Karan Rose. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Digipreneur FM podcast. It's your boy, Mr. Rose. I hope. Each and every one of you are doing absolutely amazing. DJ, cut the beat. <laughs> now, today, we, we uh, I mean, it's an episode, but it's not an episode. Today, I wanted to just come and talk to the Digipreneur FM family. And I wanted to let you guys know that... This would be the last episode for 2021. And I would I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break, gonna relax, enjoy the Christmas, and come back in 2022 hot and sweaty. <laughs> you know, but I wanted to just come on and just there's no better way to 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 come out and say Merry Christmas. Um, happy Hanukkah, seasons, greetings. There's no better way than to come on here and just give you guys my blessings. It's been a long year, what feels like it's been the longest and shortest two years ever because Lord knows that 2020 flew by in the blink of an eye and 2021 flew by even faster. But it's been such a an amazing year i mean i know not everybody can say that uh, people are going through some real tragedies right now and my heart goes out to them but it's also you know the fuel that that i have to continue to do the work that we started you know since since 2019 um just to come out here and share our knowledge create a community of digital entrepreneurs that can look and see the new opportunities that are happening all around us and make everything palatable so people can see just how easy it is to get started even if it's on the smallest scale you know even if it's just to learn a new skill and you're taking your time to to learn some new skills um, learn different ways to to make some revenue and to make additional streams of income. Even if you have a full time job, I mean, learning how to you know make some side money right now goes a long way. And just being able to you know be a part of the change happening in the Caribbean for me is a big deal. It is a it's it, it's a big deal for me personally. Um, like I explained in episode one, you know, I had my uh, I'm, I'm a tech blogger, right? I'm a tech content creator and, you know, smartphones um, and that technology has been a part of my life since I was 19, um, working back at TELUS in, in, in Canada, right? And I've just always loved the smartphone industry uh, up, up until this year. I mean, I still do it just, you know, more as a personal and, and, and hobby thing now. But when in 2019, when those questions from you guys really started to focus more on how I was building an e-commerce business, how I was creating content, how I was building my own platforms, um, how I was being able to rank on Google and compete and work with the some of the biggest entities across the Caribbean. When the questions about, you know, how I was doing that became more than the questions about smartphones itself, I knew that, you know, for me it, it, it was time for a change and it was it was I was ready at that point in time for the next, you know, step of my life. And I mean, you know, 2021 was a big thing for me because uh, starting a new platform, you know, like a podcast and being consistent with it is a big deal. Um, stats show that 
new podcasts come out usually don't make it past seventh episode usually by the seventh episode people realize that either it's not for them or they can't be consistent or it's not doing what uh they thought it would do for them and they they stop uh creating podcast episodes after that or what what ends up happening too is is people they they start they stop they start they stop and then you you see a podcast has like twenty episodes, and you're like, okay, not bad. But then you look when you when you look at you know how long it took them to get to twenty episodes, twenty episodes is like over like a three or four year stretch because people keep stopping and starting and whatnot, you know. So the fact that we've been able to get to fifty four episodes in five months is really a testament of the community, right? The community is here. I'm seeing it. You know, people reach out after every episode. Um, people are locked in. I'm seeing the streams. I'm seeing the downloads. I'm seeing the questions, the comments. You know, I love the fact that, you know, when people are putting things to use, uh, they reach out and they say, hey, you know, listen to, you know, episode whatever. And look, just wanted to let you know that, hey, I implemented something that you spoke about or, you know, you, you, you brought awareness to something that I'm now doing. I think that's, I think that's super, super dope, you know. And 2022, uh, we, we're going to have to step, we're going to have to step up because the COVID-19 pandemic ain't leaving us. <laughs> the only thing changing on December 31st is the, is, is the date on the calendar. The situation is still the same, right? But the beautiful thing is that technology as is growing, you know, faster than ever, ever before. And there's so many new things that are rolling out that the Caribbean region can take advantage of. And I hope in 2022, um, you know, I'll be able to continue to do, to do this work and create this platform for us to learn. You're going to see a lot more um, interviews, me bringing in other experts for us to help grow in this entrepreneurship space across the region in this digital entrepreneurship space. And I'm, I mean, I, I love focusing on, on the digital side of things because there's the, the barrier to entry is just almost non-existent, right? I mean, as long as you have a smartphone with internet, even if you got to go and steal the internet or you got to go and sit in a place with Wi-Fi and, 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 put, and put that smartphone to work, I mean, the barrier to entry to do a lot of the things that we talk about is, is literally, you know, non-existent. It really just depends on, on your, your knowledge level, right? And I definitely want to continue to create that platform, create that, that space, that safe space um, for everybody to come in and learn, um, learn, pick up one or two things that they can implement. And again, also, you know, bring in other experts and expose them to the Caribbean wide business community um, so that we can all learn together. Right. Because I don't know everything. I definitely don't know everything. I am a student of this game. Um, and one of my favorite things to do is just is to showcase my process. A lot of the times you guys see me learning, right? And I showcase my process. I usually do it on Instagram stories. Um, I like to use that platform for a lot of my behind the scenes and kind of day to day as I, as I grow my business. So you guys see the work that gets put in you know, through the Instagram stories. So that way, when we come on, you know, the platforms like, like the podcast or the blog, um, you know, you guys know that it took me some time to get there. <laughs> right. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely not a finished product. I don't even think I'm a polished product. I think, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a work in progress, but I just love the fact that, you know, I could bring you guys on a journey um, I speak from my own experience. I showcase my own results. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not coming on here and speaking theory. Everything that we've talked about, I'm doing or did, you know. And again, like I like to showcase, you know, everything through my Instagram stories and whatnot. So, I mean, if you guys are not subscribed to me on Instagram as yet, uh, Karen Rose on Instagram or even on TikTok, because I'm going to start to do more, um, more content on TikTok as well. But yeah. You know, again, I just wanted to come on here, uh, wish everybody a season, a season's greetings, and I hope everybody has a fantastic holidays. You know, um, I made a post yesterday that uh, <laughs> kind of, 
I, I know I know other people are in that in that frame of mind as well where I made a post saying, you know, I'm caught between, you know, seizing some some I'm caught between seizing seasonal opportunities that I'm seeing right now and just saying, yo, fuck it. We're gonna leave everything till twenty twenty two because we need rest. <laughs> and I think every day I, I every day I battle that, you know. Um I wanted to actually keep making episodes. Um I just I never even wanted to stop making episodes. I wanted to just keep on coming up and you know, try to get out try to get out my minimum two episodes a week. Um, I wanted to keep on doing that, but I'm like, you know what? 2022 feels like it's going to be another one of those years where it's going to require me to step up and, and reach another level if I want to find um, success in 2022. And I think I, I think I best, you know, I, I think for me, I best just get to get some rest in and, and relax, you know, right get ideas down, you know, stockpile some ideas. That way, you know, when I show up in 2022, we're showing up in, uh, in another big way and we're showing up out the gate. You know, we're not, we're not, um, you know, coming at the same level that we did in 2021 because what worked for us yesterday is not going to work for us tomorrow, right? And next year is going to be so crazy because, there's so many new things coming out. We're going to see the rise of things like uh, NFTs, crypto, marketing is going to be changing. Sales is going to be changing. We're going to see more implementations of the metaverse and, you know, businesses are going to have to figure out, you know, how to implement all of these things if they want to be able to participate in the global economy, right? So there's a lot of things happening for next year, but again, don't worry, uh, I'm going to be right here with you. I'm going to be right here learning. I'm going to be right here showcasing my process. I'm also going to be bringing in the experts to come in, to come and teach you about a lot of these things. And one of the reasons why, you know, your support is, is crucial. Your support is crucial, you know, when you guys are sharing the content, uh, rating the podcast, dropping reviews. One of the reasons why it's so critical um, that you guys do that is the big experts globally, when they want or when they, um, when they allow themselves to be interviewed, when they open up the schedules to be interviewed, they want to come on platforms that, are, that make sense for their brands, right? They want to come on platforms that make sense for their brands. So when we actually reach out to, you know, well-known people, um, when they do their homework or somebody on their team does their homework and they do their little research and they do the research, they want to see, okay, this is an established platform. This platform, you know, has been around. It's consistent. Um, the brand is good. The platform is good. People actually listen to the platform. They want to make sure that, you know, it, they're not just wasting their time because time is the one asset that we don't, that we, that, that, that is a finite asset, right? It can run out. So, you know, everyone's protecting their time. So that's why, you know, you guys, you know, being a part of the community, um, getting the comp, getting the, the reviews, the ratings, that's why all those things are big so that when we reach out to get the, the experts in particular, in particular um, um, niches to come in and talk to us so we can, so they can, you know, give us their, give us their, their, their knowledge and help us grow. You know, you, the community is a big part of, of me being able to go out and get those people to come in and, and give us the, the information and the tools that we need so that we can grow. So your support goes a long way. It's really not about me. It is about the platform. And again, everything on this platform that we try to cultivate here is to empower Caribbean entrepreneurs across the region and the diaspora, right? So I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's December 21st. I hope all of you, each and every one of you are getting the rest and relaxation that you need. If the Christmas season is your go time, go hard. Y'all could relax in January when things slow down a bit. If this is your time to shine. And I mean, listen, 
For those of you guys whose business centers around a big Christmas season, you guys have it tough. So I really hope that you guys are going as hard as you possibly can. Make your coins, make your impact, do what you guys need to do, all right? That's it from me, folks. I'm out of here. If you are not following me on social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, it's Karen Rose everywhere. Don't forget to check out to the, uh, the KarenRose.com website. You guys can either subscribe to the email list. We put our content over there or subscribe to the notification list. That way you guys, you know, are, are always up to date with everything that is happening um, within our platforms. And then don't forget to check out the Digipreneur.fm website and you guys can subscribe to the email list or the um, notification list over there to ensure you never miss an episode on the podcast or one of our um, live interviews all right have a wonderful christmas season take care you've been listening to the digiboss karan rose we hope your notepad was filled after this episode. Make sure to like, rate, and review the show. The learning doesn't stop, folks. And to make sure you don't miss any gems from the Digiboss, go over and follow him on all social media platforms at Karan Rose. Folks, don't just sit there with a notepad. We need you to implement at least one thing into your business before the next episode. That's the only way your business levels up. Thanks for listening to Digipreneur FM. Now, Go be great.